Welcome to our video on the top 5 worst SUVs to avoid in 2023. If you're in the market for a new SUV, it's important to know which models to stay away from. In this video, we'll be highlighting the SUVs that have been consistently rated poorly by consumers and experts alike due to their subpar performance, lackluster features, and overall unreliability. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of which SUV models to steer clear of in 2023. So buckle up and join us as we take a closer look at the top 5 worst SUVs to avoid in 2023. Number 5. 2023 GMC Acadia The GMC Acadia might not be the best option for you. In today's competitive market, there are many SUVs that excel in terms of performance, reliability, and design. However, the GMC Acadia falls short in several areas. It's been reported to have performance issues, with below average handling and a rough ride. It has a history of reliability issues, and the interior cabin is cramped, uncomfortable, and equipped with a difficult-to-use infotainment system. Furthermore, the Acadia's outdated exterior design does not compare to the modern looks of other SUVs in its class. What's even worse is that the Acadia is one of the priciest models available. All in all, when compared to its competitors, the GMC Acadia is a disappointing choice. Number 4. 2023 Ford Explorer If you're considering purchasing the Ford Explorer, there are some things you need to know. While this beloved American SUV has a great reputation, the current generation has fallen short. Despite being made by the reputable Ford company, the Explorer has a low predicted reliability score of just 1.5, according to consumer reports. Many owners have reported frequent stalling and breakdowns, requiring multiple repairs during their ownership. As a result, the Explorer is not recommended for purchase, and it's essential to be aware of these issues before making a decision. It's disappointing to see such a well-known model perform so poorly, but it's crucial to prioritize reliability and safety when choosing a vehicle. Number 3. 2023 GMC Yukon the GMC Yukon is a popular SUV on American roads, but it has earned a spot on our worst SUVs of 2023 list due to a variety of issues. One of its biggest problems is poor reliability, with a predicted score of just 2 out of 5 from consumer reports. This means you may face mechanical issues, and as the Yukon is an expensive vehicle, repairs can quickly become costly. Frequent trips to the repair shop can add up, resulting in high maintenance costs. Additionally, its poor reliability has caused a significant drop in resale value. Ultimately, if you choose to purchase the Yukon, you may end up losing money on both repairs and depreciation. Therefore, it's best to avoid this SUV altogether. Number 2. 2023 Jeep Compass The Jeep Compass is one of the worst SUVs in 2023 for reasons similar to other vehicles on our list. Unfortunately, Jeep's reliability reputation is not the best, and the Compass confirms this. Surveys have shown that the Compass has below-average reliability scores due to numerous reports of mechanical breakdowns and electrical issues that have left drivers stranded on the side of the road. In addition, the Compass lacks critical safety features found on its competitors, such as forward collision and adaptive cruise control, which are not even available as optional extras. As a result, the Compass falls short on two vital factors, reliability and safety. Therefore, we highly suggest avoiding this vehicle. Number 1. 2023 Ford Escape The 2023 Ford Escape tops the list of worst SUVs due to its combination of bad design and poor materials. The interior design and performance are subpar compared to its competitors, with interior materials wearing down quickly and the transmission system leading to slow response times. Moreover, the Escape scores a low reliability rating of just 2.5 according to consumer reports. But the most concerning issue is the lack of safety features, making it one of the least safe vehicles on the road. With poor build quality and the absence of essential safety features, it's not worth the risk. Hence, like the other vehicles on this list, it's better to avoid the 2023 Ford Escape. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more car reviews and other cool content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.